Hello, I'm Chris, and this is my Volkswagen Beetle Type 1 hot oil dipstick temperature sensor video. So I got this on eBay. It was $55, and when you get yours, be super duper careful not to bend that little copper wire. That is the actual sensor. When I opened this one up, that copper piece was stuck. I called them. He said he's going to send me another one because we don't know if it's calibrated right anymore so that thing should be springy like that save my bug.com pause that if you want to read it just gives you an idea what's going on so we pull the dipstick out stick this in there and as it heats up it's going to move this wire and then when it touches the screw it's going to ground out and turn the light on in the dash so the 72 beetle the oil light right there it's grounded out because the engine has no pressure as soon as it builds up the pressure it breaks the ground and that's why the light goes off so we just pull the dipstick out make sure you got oil in there looks to be the right length just stick it in there so notice the wires not being obstructed as it heats up it'll touch the screw right there we're gonna test it out this was eight dollars it has the correct temperature range. Why can't we just stick that in there? So then make sure you route the wire behind all this stuff. So you see how that wire ran in there? Out on this side. This is your oil pressure sender. Go ahead and pull that off. And hook this up. Beautiful. So the engine's cold right now as we start it up it should start to move over a little bit that way so just notice the position it's in So remember I said this one got damaged and it may not be calibrated correct. Let's go ahead and see what temperature we're at right now because we can calibrate this one by just loosening that screw and sliding it over. Place your bets. I'm going to say 225 degrees. It actually sits in there perfect. It really does. I'm not lying. can even think of is that i do have this fan blowing on the back so maybe that could be cooling it off i don't know still seems like the oil should be getting hotter than that that's the hottest it's been it's been running for about 10 minutes should have warmed up by now let's see if this is hot no it's not hot It's not even hot. I don't know. I just, I, I, I'm not even making this up. That oil is not even hot. I was expecting it to burn my hands right now. So I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe we need to get this thing out on the road. Maybe that fan right there is enough to keep the engine cool. I ran it for 10 minutes, 127 degrees, pulled the oil out and put my hands on it. And the oil is not even burning me at all. Anything. Maybe this thing is still in calibration. That would make a lot of sense. So I'm about to start doing the test driving on it, so I guess we'll find out then, but it seems to be doing the job. It looks perfectly fine. That looks perfectly fine. The oil light was flickering, like it said. That's why I ran out here, you can see. So that thing is out of calibration. All right, so we just took the little wire off, and this thing heats and cools super duper fast. So 175 was banging out right here. So you should make a mark on there. We're just gonna slide that over about a quarter inch. See if we can just loosen it with our hands. Yep, we can. So then, like I said, mark it if you have to. We're just gonna move this over just like that. There you go. Tighten it up pretty good. 
So that oil doesn't cool down as fast. It's still about 170, 75 degrees. And you see, after we recalibrated it just a little bit. So if you're trying to recalibrate one of these, I got this at Walmart for like $8. You're just gonna have to keep going back and forth in here until that temperature says 225, if that's where you wanna set it. So this thing will, in fact, start moving like that and start making the light flicker. I witnessed that earlier. We can just go ahead and reattach that wire. So I'm not gonna lie, when I first got it, I didn't really like it, but the more you mess with it and you see that it actually does work and it does bounce and flicker that light, you'll start to like it more. Now remember, that one was damaged and shipping or something happened to it and it needed to be recalibrated. So you can see that we can recalibrate it slowly. He said he's gonna send me another one. Well, anyway, this company is a good company. I really do like it after messing with this thing. Go ahead and buy you one of these. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. And we're officially doing test driving.